Hey y'all, welcome back to Collectible Stonks. If you're new to the channel and like seeing the financial side of collectibles, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as I have several other Flesh and Blood, MetaZoo, and Pokemon videos in the works. Today I wanted to talk about the pre-release market surrounding the new Flesh and Blood set, Monarch. I don't know about you guys, but... Wow, there have been some wild swings in prices over the last couple of weeks. I kind of want to blame it on the fact that Monarch is only a couple of weeks away, so the hype is through the roof, along with the FOMO. If you watched one of my previous Flesh and Blood videos regarding the market, you may have noticed that I mentioned that there were several websites, such as Channel Fireball, selling first edition boxes for $200. At the time, I thought it was a bit too much considering all the rumors surrounding Monarch being a heavily printed set. What I did not take into account, however, was the possibility that the amount of first edition boxes would stay as low as the previous boxes. I do not have any sort of real numbers regarding the print run for the first edition boxes of Monarch, however basing it off of pre-orders and how fast they have been selling and going up in price daily now, it seems like they may be as low as Crucible of War. Now this could very well be that since the game has reached new levels of hype, uh, it has now attracted tons of new players and investors, and if that's the case, then for all we know the first edition print runs may actually be a lot bigger than expected due to the increase in demand for everything flesh and blood. If you did not know, TCG Player had Monarch boxes dropping twice a day. For about a month, I think, although I could be completely wrong about that time frame. Anyway, shout out to them for keeping them at MSRP and giving people two promos along with the booster box. Then you had places like Channel Fireball, which started pre-orders at around $200 to $250, and have now started charging $450 a pre-order, which is absolutely bonkers considering this is a pre-order. The product hasn't even released and it's fetching that much. But if you think $450 is bad, wait till you look at eBay, $600 to $700 per box. Yes, you heard that right, per box. What is even more crazy is that people are actually bidding on these listings when there are still places like Channel Fireball offering pre-orders for less than that. I don't know, man. Things are getting pretty spicy in the secondary market for Monarch, and the set's not even out yet. But I'm not going to lie. This expansion looks absolutely sick. Uh, if you have not seen any of the preview cards yet, make sure you check them out on other YouTubers' channels. Uh, there are some really, really powerful and goddamn gorgeous cards in this set. But I guess my final thoughts on the matter is that I just can't believe how quickly these pre-orders have gone up in price, seemingly overnight at this point. In fact, there's some evidence that points to local game stores and online retailers changing their pre-order methods in general due to the severe allocation that they are experiencing from their distributors, as well as how explosive the secondary market has been regarding Flesh and Blood, Pokemon, and to a certain extent, Magic the Gathering. I actually went undercover a few days ago to my local game store where I pre-ordered two Monarch 1st Edition booster boxes back around December, I believe. And after speaking to one of the people in charge of the card section, which also happened to be the manager slash owner of the location, I've come to learn of a couple of things. The first is that this location is still waiting on the final number from their distributors for Monarch. They stated that they do expect allocations to happen up to around 50%, which means you can expect that your local game stores will sell out of the Monarch First Editions rather quickly. They also said that if the allocations are severe enough, they will have to place a limit of one box per person up until they sell out of the product, which would mean people who pre-ordered more than one would get their pre-order cut down to only one box, which I think is a fair way to go about this. The second thing I learned is that this store and the others in their franchise are considering limiting pre-orders until they officially have numbers from their distributors going forward because of the amount of allocation they, they have all been experiencing. This is very similar to what I have seen game nerds start doing with the new Pokemon set Chilling Rain. So what game nerds are doing is having a purchase limit of only 6 boosters per person and it seems like they are releasing the product in waves on a weekly basis to try and get it in the hands of as many players as possible. Now after the manager at my LGS mentioned the pre-order changes coming up for their stores, it immediately made me think that there may be a chance that they have to charge more for their product. Not necessarily scalper pricing, but I can definitely see most LGS charging at least 50% above the $90 to $100 MSRP that Legend Story Studio places on these boxes. Which, let's be honest, I think any one of us would immediately purchase a box of 1st edition Monarch or 1st edition Flesh and Blood anything for $150 at this point. Now, I'm in the camp that knows 1st editions are meant for collectors and they carry a collector's premium that I would rather see go to my local game store rather than someone on eBay or Mercari. I do know that many people do not agree with me in that aspect and believe that game stores should only charge MSRP, but due to the ever-changing landscape of allocations, price increases from distributors, and the rise of people flipping product as soon as they receive it, I can understand why some LGSs choose to increase their pricing. 
I have also heard of some interesting ways that stores are dealing with scalpers by giving buyers the option to either open the booster box at the counter and getting it for MSRP or keeping it sealed and charging closer to market price. That method weeds out a lot of scalpers who are only into this to make a quick buck while also allowing regular players of the game to be able to afford a booster box to crack open with their family and friends. Anyways, there is a lot to talk about regarding Monarch, including the upcoming pre-release events happening at your local game stores. Hopefully I managed to get a spot at mine so that I can crack open a few packs and show off the promos that come with the pre-release kit. I will also be keeping my eye on the market surrounding Monarch on release to see what happens to the prices, whether they continue going up or whether they start to settle down, as well as take a look at some of the heavy hitting cards and their values at release. This has been Collectible Stonks. Thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing as I have plenty of videos planned for flesh and blood. Thanks again, y'all.